Morning, morning monsters. How are you all doing? That's the wrong screen. That's the right screen. There we go. This morning we are going to be animating a small comedy short in dreams and we're going to be going pretty rough and fast on it because we only have half an hour but i wanted to just sort of go over the principles of it because i love animating economy shorts now the very first thing i will say to you all is if you're animating anything it's really a good idea just to scribble out the lines or scribble out the idea on paper or uh, just very quickly say to yourself, okay, what is this thing? And then kind of nail the pacing of it. Because nailing the pacing is um, a really tricky part, especially if your short is got any form of comedy. Um, so that's going to be the, um, that's always going to be one of the key things you're going to have to tackle with, um, within any kind of short or animation. Don't try um, build it all up while you're building the idea up. It's just, um, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna end well for you. So I have a very, very simple, um, silly idea and we're gonna get it um, put together relatively quickly. You know what I like to do when I'm looking for characters? I actually really like to look at collections because collections have been curated and um, there's just a bit more of a uh, people collection. Here we go. Let's look at this people collection. There's a bit more sort of flavor digging through a collection because you can go, oh, okay, this person's kind of put this stuff together. Um, oh, I don't want to use Abigail. Um, well, this ca character, Cabochan, looks adorable. Okay, the scale's a bit off. Um, let's see if we can grab another character. Um, no, um, I'm just looking up at Ellie. Ellie? How's Ellie looking? is looking okay -ish. it looks like this printer is just freaking huge so we will scale down this printer but I'm looking for someone I can quickly animate that I'm not gonna have to hack too much on getting talking and such and okay let's let's grab this let's shrink this down to uh, get it roughly in scale with our character okay Let's see what this character's abilities are. Um, let's bring up. Remember how I said whenever you bring in something, just put on x-ray, take a look at what you have to work with. Oh, wow. Oh, this has this has a whole... I did not realize... First of all, let's get rid of their Sun and Sky gadget because we are going to want to shove one in. This has a wireless receiver and a camera. That's probably... We don't want that. That's just too much stuff. An angle sensor. Okay, so often, and um, this is a this is a top tip. If you're bringing in, if you're bringing in something that has um, a whole bunch of complex logic, and all you're doing is animating, you almost certainly want to ditch the logic um, because the logic will often get in your get in your way for this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. So that's why I say, if you're gonna if you're going to bring in something, just be a, don't be afraid to to slice and dice on it. Um, uh, we need to turn. So yesterday for the remix, a lot we turned off the um, the scoping feedback, which was really handy when we were doing um, thing. But visual feedback, I actually really encourage you to get at least moderate on, um, because getting moderate on will be good. So there's some good stuff on here because they've got a they've got a um, play button. Where's the play button? Okay, the play button's that one there. Okay, great. Ready for printing. Ready for printing is going to be useful. Uh, let's turn that off for now. Um, that I'm going to leave on going to delete that one printing printing is useful we can animate with that um, 
the green ticks useful we can definitely animate with that out of paper so out of paper is not going to be the gag that we're going for um, so I'm just gonna change this to um, error because I know the gag that we're going for as I say I have uh, I have somewhat already laid this out in my head of Okay, this is the gag we're going to nail because you don't want to be animating at the same time you know the gag. As I say, writing it down on pen, uh, paper or whatever is just handy beforehand. So uh, because this is an animation that we're going to be trying to keep nice, quick and short, I'm also just going to grab the sun and sky gadget and I'm going to do um, something that we can only now kind of do, which is turn off the fleck randomness. Um, we're gonna tint the sky sort of an office blue and then we're gonna just dial that up horizon definition off no let's get the horizon definition on so the flick shade randomness is still killing us a bit there um, yeah there we go that's that 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 is sufficient for our in fact what we might do there is we might just kill the saturation there a bit bring it into a more neutral there and mostly because i don't want to worry about the background or whatever um so for some of my animations i've been using a bedroom background that i've kind of set up as a stage and a scene and i've been reusing it for a few animations i don't know if you've noticed um the next thing we want to do is we want to just dive in here and we want to look at does the puppet have the things we need for our animation. Now this puppet's got wonderfully articulated fingers which is always a ooh, it doesn't look like they've been articulated. Okay well that's not a huge drama because for this particular gag we don't need articulated fingers um, but you could easily join those up so that's always a winner. Um, but the one thing the puppet doesn't yet have, looking at it, is it doesn't have mouth controls. And we're going to need some quick mouth controls for that. Now normally I'd be, uh, one of the go-tos I'd be doing is the cutout method, which I'm sure you guys have seen me use a ton if you've been here before. Um, but what we're going to do to, um, what we're going to do to keep the, uh, to keep the, the sort of look and style is this, is this a sculpt? I think this is a sculpt. This is a sculpt, okay. So a sculpt works, but let's tweak it a bit. Okay, timeline. So now we could do, um, okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here and I'm gonna go really quick because I wanna focus on the animation side of this. We're gonna recenter our grid there um, and we're just gonna there we go um, so now what we're doing is we're um, let's drop the grid size down what we're doing is we're editing this for sort of an open mouth shape and we're going to do some mouth swapping so let's go in um, now bear in mind we're working at a ridiculously turn off grid mode we're, we're working at a ridiculously tiny um, shape but that's fine we'll just turn up a bit of blend and we'll go through to there and then let's just widen this out so it's more of a mouth shape and again you don't have to get this particular um, trick perfect because um, you'd be amazed at how much you can get away with this okay so yeah sorry uh, let's turn grid back on for a sec grid and you may ask like Claire why are you showing this um, Okay, let's go down one and clone one. Clear why you're showing this. I thought the comedy short because so often this is actually one of the main things you have to do in dreams is 
the character or the rig that you're working with might not have the thing you want for the animation so you just go in and uh, you change it up so this is the full open mouth so for that oh dear for that we want to get rid of the thing there now for here this is a sort of transition and so this one here this one's easy so we just first of all let's turn off grid grid's gonna get in our way here we just shrink that down that's the opening there and I also want to just shrink down that because it's basically the start of the opening mouth likewise here shrink down I'm going to stretch that up a little bit because I'm going to like sort of open up the mouth a bit there um, grab stretch tool really is your friend for a lot of these kind of hacks um, why, it was, why is it not Okay, that that's extending in and out like we want there oh this is a curve curves can be a bit finicky with the stretch tool um okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna nuke the curve and we're gonna just adjust that a bit again it does not have to be perfect but then what we do is we get the uh, grid mode back on grid snap okay and then in this timeline we're going to animate and the things we care to animate are oof, hold on turn off i'm going to just scope until we're in that level go in one bring the mouth bring the mouth across please ah. brilliant okay so that one's there so we've basically got a four frame at mouth animation so what we're going to do is we're going to just shrink that down there shrink that down there Shrink that down there, and oh, are those pinned? Oh, I hate pinned canvases. Just turn off pinning, turn off pinning, turn off pinning, and turn off pinning. Now that we've turned off pinning, there, what we're going to do is we know we need four frames for the animation. One, two, three, four, and we know, by the way, that. The um, the tweening or the animation blending that we have in Dreams cannot blend the visibility of a sculpt because the sculpt doesn't have um, opacity, right? And you don't really want to blend it. You want a clean um, on-off kind of behavior. So what we're going to do is this one is going to animate that one on, that one off, that one off, that one off. And then in the next frame, um, yeah, there we go. The next frame, this one off, this one on, uh, this one off, this one off. The next frame, this one off, this one off, this one on, this one off. And the next frame, this one on off and you can actually use this for a whole bunch of um you can use this for a whole bunch of uh uh sculpt animation technique stuff it's basically just traditional stop motion style so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure that these aren't overlapping with each other there we go and oh wait hold on hold on Claire just turn off uh, here we go preview visibility for a sec because we haven't finished grid snaps on good okay 
Now that preview invisibility is off, we need to move these so they're all on top of each other. I know, it's the stupid last step that I always forget. Make sure we select four things. Um, there we go, four things have been selected. We group those up and we just move those back here. Right, um, turn off grid snap, turn back on preview and visibility. Um, now we want to rename this timeline to be mouth. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're already 15 minutes in. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Um, shortcuts to switch between frames. I am, that is L1 and then the D-pad left and right. That'll switch you between keyframes if you're animating in a keyframe and there's a keyframe to the left and right. It's a very handy for this, this kind of stuff. So then what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be shoving in a remapping node here for the uh, signal manipulator. There we go. Signal manipulator for the mouth. And we want to go custom. And just because I know what I'm doing, I'm going to say 0 0.39 usually for voice. And I've got four keyframes, so I want to just drag that up to about there, roughly speaking. I can tweak it later, but I know roughly the numbers that I want to work with. And then you want to tie, you want to plug this in to the um, to the playhead. Okay. Let us um, do our audio recording because once we've got that in, um, you know, I actually prefer, I don't like going in full on into sound mode. I actually prefer just going into sound gadgets and grabbing the, she says that and then realizes, holy fuck, it's not there. So let us go into sound mode. I always hate losing the sound recorder because I always feel like I lose it. Okay. So we're going to do this in <clears throat> one take and then we're going to cut it all up because I just find that easier to do. And this is the gag and it's not going to be funny by the time you hear it 10 times working on it. This is why I say work on paper and have animatics and just work through all that kind of stuff because you will go mad. Morning printer, can I print something? Sure, ready to print. Okay. Uh, fuck. No, that's not the gag. Sorry. See, this is why you have to write this shit down because I totally forgot my lines. Um, sound gadgets are not sound gadgets. Stupid me. Ugh, bollocks. Tools. There we go. Sound recorder. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Beep boop. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of cyan. No, don't worry, it's just black and white. Out of fucking Zion! Okay, I know. It's completely, completely stupid. Um, let me just shut the headphones on for a sec. Um, and anyone who's been on the internet recognizes that this is a very, very old joke. Um, it is in no way original. Uh, so we go into sound mapper mode, uh, slice mapper view. Um, let's just bring that up here. Let's hear it play. Beep, boop. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of cyan. No, don't worry, it's just black and white. Out of fucking cyan! Okay, so now the first things you will notice there, first of all, let's bring the sound to the top level. I forgot to do that. Um, we're just going to bring in a timeline. So this is going to be one of our main timelines. And I like to do that recording and sort of one take because I make I find it finds easier and you'll notice I didn't do drastically different voices for that because I'm going to be leaning into some dream tools here um, Beep, boop. okay so first thing to do is we're going to isolate this first line um, I really want a button to just go slice cut <laughs> Okay, beep boop, uh, and then that's ready to print. Yeah. Mm. 
Let's bring that in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to shove all the printer's lines on one line. And then we're going to shove all of the character's lines on the other line. Beep boop. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Right. Come in there. Um, let's play through here. Out of sight. Okay, right. Just slicing these up as quick as I can. Right. Bring this in here. Bring this in here. And bring this in here. As I say, I find this workflow a little bit quicker than um, recording all of these as individual clips. You can record all of these as individual clips and do multiple takes and all that jazz. You know, find your workflow. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to color these. Um, just go here. We're just going to color those one color. And then we're going to color these another color. And I don't like to use the default color because then if I bring in other clips, I get lost. Ready to print. Uh, let's find some okay, contrast. Here's my document. There we go. Right, let's do some very quick rough things on this. Um, now I'm more happy to Beep, more happy to distort and fuck with the printer sound because that is um, that is the granular synthesis no oscillator distortion. There we go. Beep, Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Oh wait, am I print? Okay, cool. That, that's because it's multiple lines. Um. Beep, beep. Ready to print. Okay. okay, the reverb's a little too much. And filter. I'm just playing. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of fire. Boop, boop. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of fire. Okay, I, I, I don't quite like that. Let's just hear, listen to it quickly boop, and we'll see. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of cyan. No, don't worry, it's just black and white. Out of fucking cyan! Okay, so yeah, as I say, I'm more happy to distort and muck up with the printer's voice because the printer's voice is there. Okay, so give a shit about your timing with audio because it's going to set the whole pace of your animation. To print. Okay, here's my document. Out of cyan. No, don't worry, it's just black and white. Out of fucking cyan! And don't be afraid to record this audio, like, as I say, on PC, or just to record this audio in Dreams and um, hack together, like, a quick rough animatic with this. I'm really short on time, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, but the timing of your audio and the, the timing of your animation is really going to be sort of key to this whole, whole thing. Um, and you really need to get it right. Um... Now, because we're really short on time, okay, good, it's got a thing. Because we're really short on time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, I'm gonna go rough and fast on this. Um, I'm gonna put the printer there and stop recording. And then by default, when that's not on, I'm just gonna close it and then I am going to, for these particular ones, I'm going to take the timeline here and I'm just going to grab that. Oh, stupid me. There we go. And I'm just going to shovel that on this timeline here. Oh dear. Why, when I drag that onto that, did my timeline fuck up? Nino likey. 
that should just drag onto there and there should be no change in my timing of my clips. Why is it changing the timing of my clips? Okay, because I'm running short on time, I'm going to do a naughty hack that you should never do. But fuck it, it'll work. Actually, naughty hacks are fun. Um, so you see how you've got these different things. Currently, it's coming in on the voice channel. I'm going to just shove this onto the character channel because I'm too lazy to wire up the individual um, things. And then I'm just going to grab a speaker and I'm going to turn off the speaker's auto position. And what? Drat. I'm sorry. That hack is no longer a good hack. Okay, let's uh, let's do this the tedious way. But thankfully, there's not too many clips. We're just gonna wire it directly in to here. How are we doing for time? Oh man. Claire, you are so bad at fitting dream streams into the allotted time. This is why I need to do my evening streams for dreams again. I like to just sit down and spend tons of time. Okay, here we go. Beep boop. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of cyan. No, don't worry. It's just black and white. Okay, so that tells me that this signal manipulators off a little bit Beep, boop. ready to print okay here's my document out of sight hmm yeah it's peaking too much Beep, boop. ready to print okay here's my document out of cyan no don't worry it's just black and white out of fucking cyan okay this is not mapping quite Beep, like boop. I want Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of cyan. No, don't worry, it's just black and white. Out of fucking cyan! Beep boop. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of cyan. No, don't worry, it's just black and white. Out of fucking cyan! Okay. So as I say, um, so we don't, don't, uh, kill ourselves just hearing that same animation over and over i'm gonna just disable uh, the audio for now which is we'll turn it on as we need it um because we are going to need it a bunch um and what we'll do is we'll just call up oh, yeah we'll just call that um voices right and we need to shove, oh wait, there's the voices, there's the voices, give me a gizmo. We need to shove that on there. And no, we know we're looking just over 10 seconds for this animation. Right, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna think about your general shots and framing. Um, as I say, we're gonna be going through this really quickly because I'm terrible at pacing these things. Um, okay. Um, hold on, before I place that camera, let's think about how we're going to do this. I don't personally like to use the uh, possession recorder unless there's really big movements, um, because I find it quite hard to nuance the possession recorder. Um, but let's, let's just grab the possession recorder for now and get some, some basics in. Beep, boop, ready to print. No, okay, I don't like it. Okay, retake. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this here, and I'm going to record possession. Document. Ignore the Out of audio. No, don't worry, it's just black and white. Out of fucking cyan. Okay. Right. So. What I like to do sometimes with possession recorders, first of all, let's kill the voices. Um, okay, what are we gonna do is we're just gonna come into here and we're gonna go show sidebar. 
I'm just going to disable the voices channel of the animation for a bit so we don't constantly hear that because it's going to be a bit annoying. We're going to bring on this possession recorder. Now possession recorders you can just sort of adjust their start and clip them in and that can be quite handy for uh, okay we want to no, get this we want it to uh, play once and sustain and keep changes okay cool that's the max range there so position recorders and action recorders by the way are all the same as um, or very similar to uh, Keyframes, they're all kind of the same underlying system, it's just keyframes kind of store one value. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things. Okay, so we need to just make sure we're dragging this right to the edge there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slow down the animation speed on this a bit. I'm going to bring this in. Yeah, I don't like I don't like that position recorder. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do the base pose, animate. Um, um, tilted. Damn it sometimes you'll get a puppet or something that's just not quite the way you want it in terms of origin and you just gotta play with it a bit um, also if you're doing an animation I will often um, for comedy shorts make sure of two things which I'm gonna make sure of just in a second or just shorts in general um, is on the okay go in there adjust where the hell are we at the puppet layer yet yeah. okay good we're now at the puppet layer is so i'll often go into here and in the where the freak is it there we go i'll often turn off the procedural animation and the procedural walk um because it'll often mess around with keyframing that i'm trying to do um so now I've got a base pose in there that'll be active the whole. Where's my base pose gone? Let's get out, break out the old X ray vision. Hmm. Where has my base pose fucked off to? Oh, there it is. Now, for base poses, I like to. Um, I like to color those gray just so I know that they're always on kind of deals. What? What, 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 what? Why is that not? Hmm. Me angry. Come on. Is there an auto? Oh, there's a freaking auto guide in there. Okay, auto guides, animators, just delete auto guides. Auto guides are the worst for you. Um, also, when you're looking at animation, when you're looking at uh, uh, puppets for this kind of stuff, check in. Okay, good. They've got a sad, scared, angry, happy, sneak. Okay, we're not going to need sneak. Don't be afraid to brutalize the puppet. Um, you want the puppet to do the things you want it to do and that's all good so we won't need these selectors um, we will animate these directly and that's that's all good again this is uh, why you need to remix and why you will just use it for the things you'll use it for and don't be afraid to just go in and hack away it does um, right let's get that keyframe in there okay now let's grab you and that's, oh, that is actually behaving itself a lot better. 
Yeah, now that's actually smoothly rotating. Yeah, auto guides are not an animator's friend. Um, they'll often screw with things you want to do. Okay, there we go. We got our base pose. In. Stop recording. Okay, cool. Our base pose is there. It's all live. That's fine. So uh, let's check out the happy, sad stuff. Okay. So the bad news with the happy sad stuff is it looks like it's doing some mouth stuff already. But I do quite like the sad. We could definitely use the sad. Um, angry. Yeah, we can use the angry. Okay, so there's two sad. Oh no, that's scared. Okay, yeah, we can definitely use scared. Okay, so let's grab scared. Just shove it on the timeline here. Um, line these up. We'll end up on scared. I've actually got, I want to end on a bit of a face palm, but we'll work on top of that. Um, we'll shove sad with the um there just for a bit and happy did we like angry let's just check angry out no angry is not actually going to be that useful to us and happy was not going to be useful to us okay let's, let's get rid of becky's brain um sound effects Mario jumps, heal land, sound effects. Okay, we don't, don't need those. Right. Hack through. Um, now, moving on from scared here, I want to end. I know in my head my closing shot is a face palm. So let's just go into here and check what you're animating. Make sure you don't need to, if you don't need to animate it, don't animate it. Um, if you're going to animate the hand, deanimate the arm first, then make sure you're using R2 and you want to bring the hand roughly into the right place. Um, because that'll get you into sort of a good starting position because when you animate with L2, you're going to be in a bit of a pain. So just stick to R2 as much as you can initially, I find. Um, and just sort of tweak it. In. And then once you've got that in place roughly, then go and only use L2 on the arm because R2 is setting like a position stuff, whereas L2 is more rotation. So that's in there. Um, I might want to adjust that there. Small adjustments are fine. Um, and sort of the the thing with the face palm is the palm open thing. So yeah. yeah you see if you if you're mixing IK and FK, you can get into a world of pain um right so we're going to go into here we're going to just hide the others there for a sec and we're gonna oof okay don't have time to joint this up i would often actually joint up the character now remember when you're grabbing stuff the point the imp is at is always going to be the point that you're rotating from so just just be aware of that. Let's spread that in, in, in there. This is sort of the comedy payoff moment, so we do want to spend a bit of effort on it. Um, go. Hold on. There we go. Um, yeah, that looks a bit funky. Honestly, this is where you're going to be spending most of your time now, 
once you've got that basic uh, animation set up you're going to be um, spending a lot of time just running through and tweaking all of this up okay so let's set up a camera go through here so now why is that base so now this this is confusing me why is this base atom being there's something that's fucking with us this is always where you have to be careful okay you see how that's wobbling it's saying that that's setting it i'm not seeing any other keyframes trying to take control over it level complete yeah let's get rid of that run jump animation let's nuke the follow behavior blinking mouth we've set up ourselves Mm. yeah puppets puppets will be one of the most tricksome things that you're animating just because they can have a bit of a mind of their own when they're trying to help you they can somewhat hinder you at times why that keyframe is clearly setting that this is the thing that boggling my bloody mind turn off smoothing we have animated this particular section so many freaking times oh dear And yet it constantly wants to return. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Did you see that? What the actual fuck? Did you, did you see the... We're on frame zero. We're not going to get any initial conditions bugs. We're going to move that over there. We're going to rotate that. I promise I'm not going insane. We're not witnessing the decline of sanity. Where are we? Oh God, it's 9.13 guys. It's 9 freaking 13. Okay. <clears throat> Delete. Animate. Just put that over there. Stop recording. <clears throat> Turn it on. What the actual fuck? That keyframe is fucking on. Ungroup. I don't trust the group anymore. I've turned off the procedural bullshit though. Okay. First of all, What the hell? What the actual hell? What? Remember I said you gotta have your x-ray on so you can...
actual help. Where are those coming from? Ooh, I hate mysterious text gadgets. Yeah, where... Word. This is the bloody printer, isn't it? Where is it hiding this, though? I've got x-ray turned on, and I'm not seeing... This print is fucking... Ooh. Okay, no, 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 no. We will, we will get to the bottom of this. Okay. Let's break out all the stops. Um, turn off uh, preview invisibility. Knows what these are for. Okay. That reassures my sanity a little bit. Let's ungroup that a bit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we are going to make that not movable so it doesn't fall down. Thank you. Um, we are going to, yes, I know I'm late for work at this point, but I am going to get this done because I promised a little tutorial on comedy shorts and honestly, they really are easy in dreams. It's just sometimes, sometimes the universe has decided, you know what, we're going to make you into a trial of comedy. It's just, it's just the worst. <laughs> Um, there we go. We've set that as a base pose. Right. So now that that is on, it is behaving itself. We've deleted the groups. I honestly have no idea what was going on with that. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's see the basic thing and then we'll add some animation onto top. Okay. Um, we'll frame it in a sec. Mm -hmm. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of cyan. No, don't worry. It's just black and white. Out of fucking Zion! Okay, so we're, we're kind of in there in the, the bits. Um, so here's the next thing that we want to do is we want to get the printer's um, text display gadgets um, going. So that's the ready to print. Um, and then I think we want the printing. Oh, shoot me. We want the printing one just after it we'll get the timings down in a sec um get the error in there and the error comes in right about there and i think that's it we'll leave the error on till the end um so just scrub to here Okay. Okay, so that can go roughly around about there. Hey everyone in chat, I'm not ignoring you because I do need to wrap this up in a sec, but we are going to wrap up the recording for YouTube, do a thing, and then we are going to have to finish this animation off stream probably, but yeah, I just wanted to get the, the bits and bobs. We might have to just do a part two of this, basically. Um, I'm just going to frame up that camera. Okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, let's leave that as, as that is at the moment. Let's see where it is, and we'll move on from there. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of cyan. No, don't worry, it's just black and white. Out of fucking cyan! Okay, um, so the key thing there is this is our basic camera. Um, what we probably want to do is we probably want to shove another camera on here to capture the um, to 
capture that. And that camera, by the way, you almost certainly want to put on a cut and you almost certainly want to get the transition time down to zero because um, flying cameras will often... Oh, you Beep, right. boop. Ready to print. Okay, here's my document. Out of science. No, don't worry. Okay, so the... Um, get rid of that. It looks like these aren't working for us. We'll have to debug those later. Um, okay, but that's... We will get to finishing this up. Um, as I say, this is... For those of you on YouTube, this is a morning stream. Come join us on Twitch in the mornings at 8.30 and we'll go through all of that bit. But I am super, super late for work. Uh, okay. Bye-bye, YouTube.